If you find yourself going back to the same bit of artwork and you have to zoom in very tight to that area and it's got lots of filler details, you might find that saving a view in that area is really helpful. So first of all, if I pick up my zoom tool here and then zoom into one of these areas nice and close, this one here, perhaps there's some detail in here that I wish to keep editing on a regular basis. Well, once I've found the position that I need in my document, I can then go up to the view menu. And if you go all the way down towards the bottom, there is an option called new view. Left click on that. It will simply ask you to give this a name. As long as it resonates with you, it doesn't matter what you call it. So I'm going to call this face two and then click OK. If I then go up to the view menu, because I'll have to change the view in here. So fit all in window. If I then wish to go back to that same part of the document at the same zoom level, if I go to the view menu this time at the very bottom are your saved views. And there it is, face two. When I left click, it takes me back to exactly the same place. So saving views are really handy. Once you've got them in your document, they'll stay there. You close your file down, open it back up again. It'll be there waiting for you again in the future. If I go back to the view menu, go down towards the bottom, there is a command called edit views. When I left click on that, you can click on the currently saved views. You could delete it or you could change the name of it. Once you click OK, those edits are applied. So I'll click cancel in this case. So saving views can be incredibly helpful. Finally, if you wish to close down a panel, you can hover over the top left hand side where the X is, click on that and it's called close, but really it hides it. You can find it again under the window menu in the same place as before.